Hey everybody, it's Lori Schmidlin here for Paper Tray Ink. I'm hosting this week's Make It Monday video tutorial, and this week it's all about frames. It's amazing to me how something so simple like adding a frame to a card can make such a big difference. And by, you know, and it draws your attention to either like a sentiment or an image. It's really a great way to add that something extra special to your card. And as an added bonus, it's really easy to do. All right, for the first card, we're gonna create a frame around a sentiment, like I did here. And to do this, start with a couple of dies. I'm using um, two of the rectangle dies from the noted scalloped A2 die set. I'm using the large rectangle and the, the medium-sized scalloped rectangle. So I'm going to place them face down and center them and then to secure that, secure their placement, I'm just going to use some low tack washi tape. It's basically washi tape that's just not as sticky as the others so this won't tear your cardstock when you go to remove it. So we're going to run this through our die cutting machine and then afterwards, after the frame is, is die cut, I added some dimensional foam and adhered it to a soft stone cardstock that I had already embossed the happy birthday sentiment from the Penned Elegance stamp set. Now, to embellish the card, I'm going to add some flowers and leaves. I stamped and die cut these flowers and leaves from the Farmer's Market stamp set. So usually when I do this, I play with the placement quite a bit, but since I already know where I want these to go, I'm going to go ahead and just stick them down. If I'm not using dimensional foam, I like to use some liquid adhesive because it gives me a little bit of time before it dries so I can stick my leaves and things underneath and kind of play with them a little bit if I want to. I think that looks good. I'm going to tuck that under there. Gives you that liquid goo, gives you the opportunity to just go ahead and pull it up and tuck some different leaves and items underneath that. And for my final one, I think I'll just this little flower. I love this little flower. It's, don't tell the other ones, but it's my favorite. Okay, to finish the card, I added a few heart embellishments and mounted this onto a soft stone card base. And you can see the frame draws your eye to the sentiment but it also softens and gives you a, um, you know, somewhere to add some embellishments or different images as well. Another thing that I like to do, and instead of using a uh, framing a sentiment, is to frame images. So here you can see that I used the, some butterflies. I die cut these from the Life Is Beautiful die set. They've got little vellum. Um, solid pieces underneath. And to create the frame, I actually use two different die sets. I really liked this pretty scrolly look to this one. This is from the Mix and Matte Brackets die set. And I am going to grab another piece of cardstock so 
the black on black is kind of hard to see. And anyway, to do this, I started with this, and when I was looking through my stash, I was looking for a die that would fit inside. And this is from one of the noted die sets as well. It also has a nice little dash finishing edge to it too. So again, I'm just going to would center this, add some washi tape, and run it through my die machine. And there's the finished product. You can really make frames out of a lot of different shapes. They don't have to be just rectangles. Look for circles or ovals or even just really large, even flower images. That would be kind of interesting. And you know, you're not limited to dies to make frames. I think it would be fun to stamp some frames. So like a leaf frame, that would be really fun. For my next card, we're gonna create another frame around a sentiment, but this time we're gonna use a smaller frame. So instead of taking up the whole card, it's just gonna be a small portion. These are really fun to do. In fact, I, I probably make more of these than anything else. All right, to start, I'm going to use the Leaf and Sprig die set. Well, it's actually just a die because you get all of these, it cuts all of these different size frames from the one die. So you get all of these different sizes to choose from. And we're actually going to use this one that's the one that fit the sentiment that I wanted to use. I'm gonna get one of my painter, the boards I use for painting. And I added some temporary adhesive to the back of this frame. Now it's gonna keep it in place because I'm gonna do a little bit of ink sponging and I don't want it moving around. Got Harvest Gold ink. I'm gonna start at one end. and just lightly blend it out to the other end. Kind of, I really enjoy the ombre look. deepen that a little bit more. There is the frame. This particular die gives you lots of little details. You can actually poke these out, but I'm gonna leave them intact because like my other card, I'm going to add some dimensional foam to the back of this. You know me, I love my dimensional foam. So in here, I went ahead and adhered it to my, to a, um, my card base. And here I stamped the Wonderful Friend sentiment. This is also from the Pend Elegance stamp set. And I did a little bit of ink splatters there to just kind of fill in some of that white space. And I don't know where the what the weather's like where you guys live, but here it is the snow is coming down sideways. We are gonna have temperatures well below zero, and I am very much longing for spring. So I brought some spring into my studio today, and I stamped and die cut these images from the humming along stamp set. Just really love the bright, pretty colors. And so I'm going to just embellish my frame a little bit and um, again with the dimensional foam I'm gonna just adhere that to my card and add the bird okay I forgot to peel the foam off on that part there we go Now, to finish this, 
just add some sequins and adhere it to a white card base. Thanks so much for joining me today. This has been Lori Schmidlin for Paper Tray Inc.